Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make a cool Pong-like game in Buildbox 3D. And let's check it out. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that little bell to follow along as I make and play games. Check it out, this is what I made. This is the 3D world. You got two sets of paddles, top paddles, left and right paddles, and let's take a look. Now, right now, the ball doesn't have that much variety and it kind of only moves left and right, but we can change that accordingly when I remake everything. Very cool. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Here we have the side wall. This is paddle. And then this is wall paddle up on the top. So if we can go here, we can look that there is a touch move allowing the character to move in the X direction. And this is wall paddle. So it moves left and right. Here we've added a position limiter, making sure that it doesn't go any further to the left than negative 2.5 or any further to the right than 2.5, like that. And then we just add similar effects to the paddle. Moving direction in the Y coordinate. Here we have Y moving in the Z. So this is actually the Z direction. And you know the Z direction, like let's just go into the world, is X and then Y. The Y direction is actually up here. And then the Z direction is further out. Whoop. And it goes all the way away. So that's super straightforward for the paddle. And then the next thing we have is just the sphere. We can see that the sphere has a texture, which is just a white square, a white PNG. We go into it and there's a lot going on. Originally, I took this from the flipper preset and you don't need all of this stuff. Looks like I was trying to do something with how it collides and spinning, rotating. So none of this I use. This is, if it hits that red line, then it's a game over. We got the trail here and honestly none of this is really used what you really need to pay attention here is that the ball is set to dynamic physics set the ball is set to dynamic and there's a trail i can go in and delete all these things and none of them get used here we can say if it goes across the dashes then it's a game over that use 3d model state node causes things to happen once instead of happening multiple times. So if something goes into the state mode, looks like the physics here can change. There we go, set physics gets things moving quickly. Cool. And then that's really all that's going on. So let me show you again by recreating this in a default template. Now, originally I used ball flipper just because it's easier, but let's do it in default. Change the background, let's go old, old school gray. Add a ball, add a dash, camera view. Now we're gonna have the camera view face towards the ground. Okay, let's name this top cube. And then we can name these side cube. So change this color to something. That. And this way we can have both cubes in the game. Top cube, cool. and I'm gonna keep everything within this start to end. So start to, I never know why that's at four. Start at zero and at negative 10. And we're gonna to have to move everything, or even the camera too. But and I'm gonna put the dashes along here and here. Now let's go ahead and make this ground, give it some physics at static. It's not gonna be moving much, so it doesn't really need a lot. He's all at a Y1. This is at four, negative four. Now let's move these cubes up to the characters and include touch move. So we're on the top cube and the top cube is only for the X coordinates. Let's go ahead and add physics. We're gonna want kinematic. Y000, zero, 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 that looks good. Y doesn't matter and let's try it out. Good, looks good to me. This dash is not in the right area. Also, we want to add a position limiter. So here I'm gonna put negative three, other three and Z. I feel like we it's it's not Z, it's at negative seven. It's at negative 10 actually. Okay, just moving things around, copy and paste, move this all the way to Z10, negative 10. Grab these two, copy and paste, and it's 
rotate it that to 90 to get a perfect angle that like this and here this is set to squeeze that in place set to four and that's four as well this should be set to z five put that in the middle and it's like the dashes are moving let's just go in and make sure okay dashes are no physics these in line, that to zero. Looks good. Now I'm gonna go to the side cube and I'm also gonna add the touch rotate and we're gonna wanna add a position limiter as well. So side cube, so these are gonna move just the Z axis. So we'll put this to one, set it to Z, remove the invert. And again, this will need to be for the top. So negative 10, I believe, and then we want it to go to zero. Z can be to negative 10. Both the side cubes are set to negative four so let's two four, four point five just to be safe and let's take a look so these go up and down these go left and right now i'm going to move the camera back a little bit more because game that i'm trying to watch move the camera back a little bit more take a look at that camera that's the zero position in the middle and let's take a look okay cool it looks good super simple we zoom in like that and then the next thing we need is a ball let's just put a ball in the middle go in make this ball dynamic add a state machine move to it so this means that it'll just move one time and add a movement and we can set it to five so let's go into the ball we're going to need to change the balance to one remove all the friction let's also go in and add a trail just so we can see it moving got an image for that somewhere just like that what we got it does look like it's just moving in one direction in ball flipper template there is a set physics on the object causing it to move in a direction so let's go here all these we can put zero and physics we're gonna set this to negative eight and see set the dynamic see what happens okay so it does move and it looks like it moves but there's not enough bounce so let's add two to the bounce add four to the bounce Ooh, just went straight through that top side, side cube. Side cube, so it's physics to kinematic. Go to side cube and top cube and remove all friction. Friction is the enemy. Let's add a bounce of one. See what happens. Boom. Okay, bounces definitely get up there fast. So let's just keep everything at one and see how it goes. Okay, cool. as you can see made a four-way pong. Still a lot needs to be done in terms of how to manage both the friction, the physics, the math, but the core elements of this 3D pong is achievable and how to set checkpoints, level complete is all within your imagination. Definitely need to spend some time to try to figure out what would be a good way to make this a complete game and put it out onto the app store. But until then, try to recreate it yourself let me know what your thoughts are. How is BuildLocks 3 treating you? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell button. I'll be back with more cool stuff. See you later. Peace.